During the Clinton administration, deregulation continued under Greenspan, and Treasury Secretary's Robert Rubin, the former CEO of the investment bank Goldman Sachs, and Larry Summers, a Harvard economic. Since deregulation began, the world's biggest financial firms have been caught laundering money, defrauding customers, and cooking their books again and again and again. Banks, Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch were all in on this. The uh, sub subprime lending alone increased from 30 billion a year in funding to over 600 billion a year in 10 years. They knew what Countrywide was Financial, the largest subprime lender, issued $97 billion worth of loans. It made over $11 billion in profits as a result. Here I am! Never was enough. They don't want to own one home. They want to own five homes. The vast majority I've seen lately, unfortunately, are people who've just been hurt by the economy. They were living, you know, day to day, paycheck to paycheck, and unfortunately that ran out. And unemployment isn't going to pay a house mortgage. It's not going to pay a car. And they want to have an expensive penthouse on Park Avenue. And they want to have their own private jet. Well, I was a log truck driver, and they shut down. They shut down all the logging systems up there, shut down the sawmills and everything. So I moved down here on a construction job, and the construction job got shut down too. So things are so tough. There's a lot of people out there, and pretty soon you're going to be seeing more camps like this around because there's just no jobs right now. Fourteen million dollar oceanfront home in Florida. You have a summer vacation home in Sun Valley, Idaho. You and your wife have an art collection filled with million dollar paintings. Lehman owned a bunch of corporate jets. Do you know about this? Yes. How many were there? Well, there were six, including the 767s. We also had a helicopter. I see. Isn't that kind of a lot of planes to have for? We were growing at about 20%. It was a super year. And then we suddenly went to minus nine this quarter. Exports collapsed, and we're talking like 30%. So we just took a hit, you know, and fell off a cliff, boom. Three rating agencies, Moody's, S&P, and Fitch, made billions of dollars giving high ratings to risky securities. Moody's, the largest rating agency, quadrupled its profits between 2000 and 2007. Moody's and S&P get compensated based on putting out ratings reports, and the more structured securities they gave a AAA rating to, the higher their earnings were going to be AAA, for the play like a month before it went bankrupt? Uh, more likely A2. A2? Yeah. Okay. A2 is still not bankrupt. No, no, no. No, it's, it's a high investment grade, solid Chinese investment Chinese manufacturers see sales plummet. Over 10 million migrant workers in China lose their jobs. At the end of the day, the poorest, as always, pay the most. Countrywide CEO Angelo Mozillo made $470 million between 2003 and 2000. CEO of Merrill Lynch received $90 million in 2006 and 2007 alone. 